Hey guys, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for dropping in. And if you're coming back to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. Listen, I, ha I, I, I wasn't going to get on this afternoon, but a few things happened to me that I need to recognize because they were true blessings and just, um, I'm just still, I'm just still overwhelmed with gratitude. I, I just can't, I just can't y'all. Last night, can't remember what time it was, but I was getting ready to go in. It was Sunday night, by the way. Um, I was getting ready to go in. I'd been crafting all day and a, a notification popped up on my YouTube notifications that Angela, the traveling crafter, had posted a video. It was about a cookbook. And I said, oh no, I gotta watch it. So I did. And Angela, she basically did a VR for me, for me and my channel, for um, helping me to get to 500 subscribers and she said the kindest things about me and i have never met angela in person and i'm still astounded really and truly by this community of folks who come together in ways that are so uplifting with each other i see it in different videos i hear different creators talk about each other in positive ways and and i am so very thankful to be a part of that but that was the that was that was how my night ended with Angela you know saying all these wonderful things about me and I'm so appreciative Angela thank you so much by the way um and then on top of that she's doing five cookbook journals and if you've heard me talk in the last couple of days about these cookbook journals you know I'm gonna do one now now it's on right now it is going to happen. If you haven't seen, this is the cookbook journal that I'm creating. Got the guts out of it and everything. We're starting. Teresa, Teresa, you got to hold me accountable. Teresa's one of my subscribers who she's doing two cookbook journals. I'm going to do one. So that, I went to bed with a full heart, a very full heart last night. And I'm just, um, woke up still thinking about it. So thankful. I woke up this morning and was checking email. I was, I'm, I'm an early riser. I'm a, I go to bed early and I get up early. And so I'm, I'm on my email this morning. And this scripture is waiting for me in one of my emails. And it's from my new friend, Tammy. Tammy at Sweets. Tammy, I'm going to get it all wrong, aren't I? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. I don't want to misquote here. Hold on. Tammy at Texas Sweet Tea Treasures. Okay, I didn't want to get I didn't want to get it wrong. She sent me an email, and it basically said, "Let me let me read it." <laughs> I want you to have a good year this week because I had done a community post late last week about how I had had kind of a hard week. It was a stressful week last week, so I woke up to not only this wonderful verse and Tammy's wonderful email, but just the fact, y'all, just the fact that Tammy took the time to not only read my community post from late last week, but to remember, to remember it, and then to reach out to me with such a positive affirmation and wish for me to have a better week this week, and I've never met her. <laughs> God, why we need this kind of interaction in our lives. I need it. And when I tell you, I was boohooing this morning like nobody's business. So thankful. So thankful. I mean, my heart was so full because here I got Angela talking me up. I got Tammy, sweet Tammy, she's over here. She's sending me email wishes for a great week this week. And then, y'all, I get home and Carol from A Crinkled Path has sent me a big old box of goodies. Huge, look at this box, y'all. Look at this thing. I haven't opened it yet. Hadn't opened it. 
but I did open this and it is the loveliest card with the loveliest sentiment and I can't read it because I'm going to start crying and I don't want to do that because I don't want to bring anybody down but I just want to to share with each of you not only what's in the box because this is exciting stuff right but I want to share with each of you that in case you don't have this positive affirmations in your life this kind of positivity I want to send that to each and every one of you I want you to know that if you're subscribing to my channel I really cherish you I do I've never met you and even if you don't interact and comment just know that I know those numbers are people there's a person behind that subscriber number um, no matter what the number is, you know, whether it's 500 or five, I know that each one of you could choose to take your time elsewhere. And I'm so very thankful for you. Very thankful for you. And you are a part of what makes my day so wonderful. And I want each and every one of you to know that, that I do cherish you and I cherish the interactions, but I do cherish you even if you don't interact with me. So I want to share this with you. And sometimes I get these comments from people who they love my excitement and they love, and I want to give that to you because it, it you know, my excitement's not fake, folks. <laughs> I, I, I am still stunned by it and I am, I am giddy like a school girl, a school kid right now because... I mean, look at this box, y'all. <laughs> I was not expecting this in the least. I, I just, I cannot get over this um, this community of women and people, you know, because I hate to disclude the gentleman. I just haven't had any interactions with gentlemen yet, but I, this is, this is incredible. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee, but... Um, let's get into this box, y'all. Let's see what Miss Carol at a crinkled path has sent. Let me mention to you real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to post on the community tab later more about this, but I had a chance. Um, I was, I was actually stopped at the dentist office on my way home from work because my husband had an appointment and hubby had a tooth pulled. It was one of his wisdom teeth. Um, you know, where he, he's older like I am, but for some reason, this one, it, it, you know, he's had his wisdom teeth since he was in his teens, but it started bothering him. So anyway, I was, that's where I was at. And I was checking some emails while we were waiting on the dentist to come in. And I saw that Carol has actually posted a contest. I'm going to have more on that later for you guys, but I want to encourage you. She's almost at 600 subscribers, or maybe she is at 600 subscribers. And uh, if you are not subscribed to Carol at a crinkled path, please go subscribe. You will not regret this. Carol gives off one of the calmest, most soothing vibes ever. She is a great teacher, but she is one of the best storytellers that is out here on YouTube today. She shares. She's like, um, she seems to be anyway. I, again, I've never met her in person, but the way she tells a story and what she shares of her life it's almost like she's the family historian, if that makes sense. She goes back, you know, she shares stories about when her and her husband were dating. Uh, the things that they saved. Oh my gosh. It's just their friendship bracelets when they were dating and just different things. And it is so good for the soul to sit and listen to her. It is, I love when Carol posts something because you get these these nuggets of just cherished gold in her storytelling. So I would encourage you to go watch her channel and go subscribe because she's just a wonderful human being. So let's see what Miss Carol sent. She in her in her card, part of the sentiment was there's some items in here for my Louisiana journal and some other items to either hoard or share or use. <laughs> she knows me so well without even having met me. So let's, uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at this. Look at this. I do not have, I will tell y'all this right now. I do not have a large collection of napkins. 
Meg sent me some and I had a couple already, but this is this is perfect. These are absolutely perfect. And of course, because of the holiday, 4th of July, and, and I'll go ahead and share with y'all, um, Carol actually found out when my birthday was and it just passed. So thank you, Carol, for the sentiment. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, how unusual are these? Oh, <gasps> no. Carol, for my dinosaur journal. And look at them. Oh, they have different scenes. Oh, this is awesome. I hope I'm getting this in screen. My, uh, com my computer screen over here went dead, so I hope I'm still on screen. It looks like I am. Oh my gosh, Carol, these are awesome. Oh, look. Summer, summer, summertime. Summertime, summertime. I have not done a project yet with napkins, but I do know how, and I will have to do that now. It's going on the project list, y'all. These are gorgeous. This is actually gorgeous. Look how pretty this is. The pinks and the purples with the pineapple. <gasps> Look, y'all. That's beautiful, Carol. That is really pretty. Look how pretty this napkin is, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Thank you so much, Carol. Good grief, girl. Carol? Oh, no. Look at these, y'all. Somebody tell me what kind... What What is this flower right here? Carol, do you know? You, so, you are so much more knowledgeable than I am about this kind of stuff. But what is this blue flower? Is that some kind of wedding bell? Am I remembering that correctly? I'm not sure. Tell me. Comment down below, guys, if you know what that is. That is beautiful. This one, too. Look at this one. Look at this. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. An iris. That's an iris. I know it is. These are gorgeous. Boy, you could separate these, couldn't you? And put that on a tag separately. Golly, that's pretty. I love that. Yes, that is beautiful. <laughs> Besides wine, friends and family make the best gift. Look at this picture, y'all. I wonder if you could really get that done. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you had a family photo, I wonder if you could have that done for like a, a, a Christmas or a, a Thanksgiving. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Carol, where did you find this? It, that's not your family, huh, Carol? Tell me where you found this. That is a neat concept, though. I love that. That is so cool. Okay, guys. Look, this is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, I'm a... Uh, yeah, now I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to do a napkin project. This is beautiful. This reminds me... I got a whole book of wallpaper that is black and white and gold. And that's what this reminds me of. And it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. I love it. Love it. Carol. Carol. Look at the hummingbird, y'all, on this. Now, I don't know if I've ever shared this before, but let me tell you guys this. We live in an area that is right, in, it's just a few miles away from an actual rookery, which is a bird sanctuary right and the migrating patterns of hummingbirds this rookery is is right in the migrating pattern so anyway i every year i have a ton of hummingbird feeders that i pull out because we get to enjoy them and we do they are everywhere everywhere so thank you so this is lovely i love that Who's your Huckleberry? <gasps> Look at this! Oh my gosh, Carol! That is awesome! That is like that Cracker Barrel. <laughs> That's like that Cracker Barrel silverware thing that I got. I love that. Oh, what did you do, girl? <gasps> Stop it! Stop it! 
Stop it, Carol! No, you did not. Okay, if y'all are new here and you don't know the story, <laughs> I always say that I'm the who knew girl because I'm so new to this everything. I'm just looking at everything going, who knew? Like, who knew you could make a coffee filter look that fancy, right? Who knew you could take a... P I didn't even know what washi tape was, y'all, for God's sake. I mean, come on. So I'm who knew in it to death. And I know I, occasionally I'll tell people I'm going to have t-shirt. I'm going to have merchandise. And the only thing that's going to be in my merch store is t-shirts that say, who knew? I'm the who knew girl. I'm telling you. And look what Carol did. She made me a magnet. <laughs> Carol. I have this little tin up above my desk. I, I'm telling you, this is where it's going to live from now on. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. I, <laughs> I appreciate that so much. What a fantastic gift. I love that. The Who Knew Girl. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Carol, this is way too much. This is way too much. This has got to be older, Carol. Look, 2003. Oh, my God. That is absolutely fun stuff. That is fun stuff, Carol. And this, I don't have a big glassine bag like this, so thank you. Okay. 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 <laughs> I love these. I, Meg sent me a couple. And that's, these are now going in my collection. These are awesome. Carol, thank you so much for sharing these with me. Because these, I, I don't find them. I really don't. I don't find them in my thrift stores. If I did, I would snatch them up. I, um, I love those. Thank you so much. And my aunt used to have them. And I just, I just don't... Um, Hopefully that didn't stop my video. I had a call coming through, but hopefully it didn't stop. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my, I saw these the other day in your haul. I saw you haul these and I love them. Kissing, these are recipe cards. Kissing wears out, cooking don't. These are fantastic and they're gonna be perfect for my new cooking journal. I am using, you guys will see me use these in my cooking journal. Carol, thank you so much for these because I did see you haul them the other day. These are lovely, absolutely. And I saw you put these in your, your recent journal that you did for the person that had gone to several universities in other countries. And I love this idea. Look what Carol did. She just took a matchbook, she decorated the outside, and then she just made it into a little notepad. Isn't that lovely, y'all? I'd never seen this before. But this is the kind of creativity that you'll see from her. It's just, it's awesome. I mean, look, it's, it's all kinds of paper, just little tears of paper. Who knew, right? I'm serious. Like, who freaking knew you could make a matchbook into a little notepad? Isn't this incredible? What? That's so creative, Carol. Thank you. And thank you for this glassine bag, too. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to use it as ephemera. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. I have a Winnie the Pooh. I have a couple of Winnie the Pooh golden books. But I don't know if I'm going to part with that. <laughs> I might have to keep that. Potpourri. And it's in French. And it's going to go into my Louisiana journal. Yes, it is, ma'am. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, this is going into my Louisiana journal. Look at all this French. I'm trying to decipher if it's Cajun French. Because there's a little bit of a difference. But regardless, Marie Madeline, I love it. Golly, that is so precious, Carol. These are absolutely going, these are absolutely going into my Louisiana journal. Those are perfect. Look at this. Absolutely, 100% going into my journal. Look at this. Let me see if I got a date. 1961. 
Here's a little fun fact. This is, this is a Mardi Gras float, float in New Orleans. And I was, I don't know if I've told anybody this, um, but I was actually born in New Orleans. Yeah. Let's see, this one is 1983. Look at the stamp, 13 cents, the little dog and the cat. Let me see what this stamp is. Oh, this is the um, Statue of Liberty stamp. I'm trying to see, is it a three cent? I think that's a three cent. These are lovely. I love this. The architecture in New Orleans, there's really nothing like it. Not here where I'm at anyway. There really isn't. Let's, let's, um, I could, I could keep y'all here all day. Yeah. <gasps> Carol. My, my phone is fixing to die. I might, I might, oh my God, Carol, you did not give me all these blue stamps. Carol, this is incredibly generous. It is full. It's a full, it's a complete book. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to put you on pause and charge my phone for a minute. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. My phone died, so I apologize, but I promise I closed up the box and I didn't go through it even though I wanted to real bad. I didn't. I want to be just as surprised as you are because this is, um, this is incredible. I'm just still, I'm just, I, I'm floored. I'm just so, I mean, look at this. Who knew? I am so impressed with this right now. Y'all just don't even know how I'm impressed because now I have a gabillion ideas. I have a gabillion ideas for this. Um, anyway, Carol Crinkle Path, let's get back into this. Let's see. We stopped at the blue chip stamp book that is full, full of blue chip stamps. Carol, this is like um, <laughs> super duper looper stuff right here, man. I am just so, what is it, San Carlos, California. Were the blue chips specific to California? I just don't remember the blue chips. I remember the, the green S&H stamps. I do remember those. <gasps> lawn Yop. Lawn Yop. You got a Lawn Yop card. Carol, I've never seen this. Oh, my God, I've got to scan this. Okay, listen. In case you don't know, I live in Southern Louisiana. Cajun French, the Acadiana area is what we call Southern Louisiana. It encompasses several cities and we have parishes here. We don't have counties, we have parishes. Anyway, it's different. <laughs> it's wonderful, but it's very different than anywhere else in the world. Cajun French is spoken here a lot. Lanyop is a Cajun French word, and if you ever hear me refer to this word, some people, like if you go out on that Google pronouncer thing and you put this word in, it's going to come back and it's going to say Lanyap. Now, while some people may say that, I'm not saying my way is the right way, I'm just telling y'all, here in southern Louisiana, most people pronounce it lawn yop, like lawn, like your front lawn, and yop, Y-O-P, yop, lawn yop. Lawn yop basically means a little something extra, being a little extra generous. And this, while, let me tell you something, Carol's generosity here is more than a little something extra but this is incredible carol i have never in my life have i seen this card i am scanning this so that i will have it forever and ever in a day and this is incredible lanyop an item given gratuitously by a restaurant or merchant at the time of purchase U-S-U, oh, use, usage, I'm sorry, to ensure accurate measure or to show appreciation for a customer's business, Lanyop. It just, it just means a little something extra. That's what that means. Carol, this is incredible. I love this and I love it even more because it's the color purple and I love the color purple. Thank you, Carol, you think of everything. And you know what, I'm gonna tell you something. Carol could be an FBI agent because she, when, <laughs> She knew it was my birthday because she listened to Dale's Dex Challenge whenever I sent Dale my card. 
and Dale mentioned some. That's the only reason Carol knew. So I know when Carol watches videos, she listens intently. Like she at she Carol actively listens, which a lot of us don't do these days. Myself included, I'm guilty for that. So Carol, thank you very much for your impeccable listening skills. Thank you very much. Creole squash. This is a real recipe. Look at this handwriting. And I love squash, and I'm going to tell you something right now. Let me look at it. Tomatoes, grated parmesan. I'm going to make this recipe, and I'm going to let y'all know how it turns out because this looks delicious. The quick, quick and easy cookbook out of page 172. I mean, look at this cook right here. Had all the details and everything. This is awesome. And Brenda Porter. Look, Brenda, with her monkey bread. Brenda, look at you. That is awesome, Carol. I love this car. These are going, I'm telling you, in my cookbook journal. These are awesome. I love these. I saw New England Junk Journals. You sent her some of these, didn't you? Because I saw her going through them. And, oh, look at the bald cypress. <gasps> and the pecans. Yes, I say pecans. I know it's weird. I've said it that way my whole life, even before we moved back to Louisiana, growing up in Florida, because I grew up in the panhandle of Florida. People always made fun of me, but that's how I say it. Pecans. Oh, my goodness. This is an okra. Carol, you absolutely, you little thing, you, you are incredible. <gasps> look at uh-uh. Carol, these are awesome. Oh my goodness. Car look at the shape of these. They're little index cards. They must have come out of one of those um one of those things you could buy where all the recipes were all together and you just go and pull them. I've seen them before, but I've never seen them in person. These are really awesome date nut bread. Uh-uh, New Orleans sauce. Let me see this sauce. Fatter oil, minced onion, green pepper, celery, flour, and tomato sauce. It's almost um, it's almost like a roux, but that's good. That's um, uh, It's more like a Creole. Anytime you have tomato in a base like this where you're melting down fat and you're making like a roux, but if you add tomato to it, it becomes more Creole than it does Cajun, if that makes sense, but delicious nonetheless. That's your Louisiana Cajun uh, lesson for the day, I guess. Deluxe ham slices. I love ham, and I love deviled eggs. Let me see what's in this. Let me see. Deviled sauce cooked. But, oh, lemon juice and Worcestershire. I have never done that. I may try that. And look at another one. So there's devil's end sauce and deviled sauce. Tomato sauce here, too. Yeah, I may have to try these, Carol. Seriously, these are awesome. Thank you so much. Pecan buns. I know there's the word pecan. I get it. Pecan buns. I should do a short, a YouTube short, where I'm just saying pecan over and over again to drive people crazy because they would, they would thumbs down me, I'm telling you. Uh, Grant, ooh, that looks really good. Okay, an active dry yeast. So it's a process. I probably won't do this recipe. <laughs> I'm instant gratification. I'm sorry, y'all. Pan fried fish fillets. Yes. Yum. Peach pie. Yum. Buttermilk griddle cakes. Love it. And there's actual buttermilk. I love buttermilk in almost anything. Truly, I do. I love buttermilk. Buttermilk and brown sugar and real butter. Real butter. Yep. Love these. Oh my gosh. This one is cool. I love the patina on these, Carol. Thank you for this. Thank you so much for this. These are awesome. And I do not have, look at the variety of sizes she sent me. Carol, you and the, oh, look at this one. I don't have that size. I really don't. And the variety of the patterns. Carol, thank you so much. This is like, oh my God. Oh, look at these. Look, y'all. More recipe cards. I don't have, it. Meg sent me a couple 
and I do have, but but it, they're not specific to recipes. They're more like a postalette. But these are awesome, Carol. Thank you so much. And you know I'm going to use this envelope. You know I am. Let me. It feels like something else is in there. Hold on a second. Yep, I knew it. What is this? Oh, cool! Oh, I love them. They're like the ombre pink. That's perfect. Carol, thank you. Let me see these. Okay, I'm going to turn them over because... Oh, I love them. Oh, look at that. Le Pen? It's, that's French. Oh, this is beautiful. These are beautiful. Look at those ladies, y'all. Those are gorgeous, Carol. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing that. I really appreciate this. These, I love them. Love, 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 love these because I am going to do... I'm going to do a quick craft with me because, you know, I'm, I'm working on my craft with me. So that's part of my vision board this month is my craft with me. So I'm supposed to do two and I haven't yet, but I'm going to I'm going to work. I'm going to do like a quick craft with me with the tags. How's that for committing? Oh, I'm scared. I know I shouldn't be so intimidated by that stuff. I should practice what I preach because that's what one of my subscribers told me today. And I should practice what I preach. This is awesome. I have none of these. My suggestion is that everyone go and subscribe to Carol at a Crinkle Paths YouTube channel right now. Stop what you're doing and go now. My suggestion would benefit all of you. So go do it now, please. Thank you. These are awesome. I can always use these. I'll, I'm going to go uh, look at some YouTube videos for this. Verba I love that you say this. I do. I never, th I never thought about this, but I see these all the time. That is a perfect line page, isn't it? See how creative Carol is? I'm telling y'all. Okay. I don't have any invoices like this. These are wonderful. These are, thank you, Carol. Those are wonderful. <laughs> she sent me some monkeys, y'all. Look. She sent me some monkeys, Carol. Carol. <laughs> thank you so much, Carol. And you know these are older because look at the price on them. 75 cents. Come on, guys. They, I don't know what year this is, but you couldn't touch that in today's world. These monkeys are absolutely adorable. Carol, thank you so much. I'm telling you, she... <gasps> Look, the Mardi Gras mask! Oh my gosh, Carol, I live here and I don't even have these. I really don't, because you know Hobby Lobby stopped selling Mardi Gras stuff because it's really not religious. Like, it doesn't vibe with their message. So, they stopped selling the Mardi Gras stuff. Oh, my God, this is incredible. Thank you so much, Carol. Stickopotamus. I've never even heard of that brand. I wonder how old these are. Carol, thank you so much. Okay, zippers. I saw, I think, Shabby Dabby Doodah, I, and I'm sure other creators, too, have all the zipper, like, I, I need to do that. It's kind of, it's a little bit advanced for me, but I still need to try, don't I? I love these colors. This this little army green color, I love that. And that would go good in my, my cookbook journal, too. These pages right here. Y'all, look at these. It's like a watercolor. Carol, did you do these? Tell me, tell me if you did them, okay? I'd love to know, because if you did, they're wonderful. I don't, I don't, I really, look at this hand, look at this. These are awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'd love to know if you did them, Carol. Please let me know. This is awesome. These are great. And the paper, the paper itself, the weight on it is really significant. This is going to be great. Oh, my gosh. 
Do y'all see this little golden book? Y'all, Carol. This is very generous, Carol. This is extremely generous. Children see a lot in little golden books. I've never even seen a back cover like this. Not in, not in real life. I, re I know that they existed, but I know that this has got, this has got some age on it. I know it does. 39 cents. This is incredibly generous, Carol. 1971. Carol. This is a brand new book written and illustrated especially for Golden Books. Carol, this is so, thank you so much. I have, I don't know if I have an ill Margaret, Ill, maybe that's the way you say it, Margaret Vogel. I'll have to look. I have a little book matrix that I did, and I've started cataloging all, just my little golden books, not all my books, but my little golden books so I can keep up. Um, I don't, this doesn't look familiar. I'm going to look. I'll look and see. But this is, um, this is incredibly generous, Carol, and to know that you, you donating to my dinosaur book. And my new friend, Sierra, her little boy is absolutely infatuated with dinosaurs. And we've had some dialogue about that. And he's just precious. She has several children and they're all precious. But, you know, I, I glean to him because he loves the dinosaurs. This is an absolutely adorable book. I've never seen this book. Carol, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is, this is incredible. And I do not, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I do not have a cookbook that is this size, not a hardcover. So I am super duper looper excited about this one. 1987 is when the insignia, when it was uh, inscribed. Let's see. 1975. Guys, look at the ephemera in this one. I may have to do more than one cookbook now, right? <gasps> Look at this. Sassy beef noodles. Now, if that recipe's not screaming to be made, I mean, who, if you open this cookbook and you just saw the title of that recipe, Sassy Beef Noodles, you just makes you want to make it, doesn't it? Come on, y'all. That is incredible. This ephemera in here, Carol, this this is perfect size. It just makes me want to sit down and stay out here all night and just start on ephemera. Y'all, Carol, I don't, oh, look, the chicken zucchini skillet is good, y'all. So there's that. If you like zucchini and you like chicken, and I do like both of those, you may have to make that. And I told y'all, I really don't, I've never really been a, cook that uses recipes like on the regular basis i just would cook i would just cook right uh, but now that i'm i'm really getting into this look at this this is beautiful um i see these recipes and i want to try them golly look at this y'all this carol you are just setting me up for success with my cookbook journal and my dinosaur journal Carol, is this what I think it is? Carol, I don't know your middle name and I don't want to say your last name, but I'm going to tell you something. I am so impressed with you right now. I would call you by all three of your God-given names if I knew them. This is a cutting board. And remember how I just said Carol actively listens to everything? I don't know how long ago it was that I said I collect, <laughs> I collect cutting boards, but that's what this is. And Carol remembered that, and she took the time to send this to me. Carol, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The fact that you did that and you remembered from so long ago, because I don't know how many videos ago that was, and it was just in passing. But you honed in on that, and that makes you so special. Do you know that? I hope that you know how special you are. Um, this is incredible. Thank you so much, Carol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodness gracious. I saw this wallpaper the other day in your hall, and I fell in love with it. I'm telling you, what is not to love about this wallpaper right here? 
And y'all know it's going in my cookbook journal. This is going... Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, it's going to have its own... Mm -hmm. This is this is like heaven right here. Let's see, run number 15. Oh, my gosh. That is... Thank you, Carol. Now, let's see what... Oh, it's a Saturday Evening Post article about New Orleans. Just try this soup of New Orleans from Campbell. Oh, they made a chicken gumbo soup. Campbell's did. <gasps> Look at that, Carol. Carol. The, and then the other side is the purple plain. Y'all know I love purple now. Carol, thank you. Golly. Look at this one. This is tobacco, huh? Yeah. Lucky Strikes. Isn't that something? We were just in the dentist office talking about, you know, cigarette ads in the old days. And isn't that funny how, I just think that's funny how we were just talking about this. That's something. That is an incredible ad, by the way. The imagery. That's something. Wow. Thank you, Carol. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Like Dale says, oh, my lanta. <laughs> These are the Fleur de Lis wallpapers. Y'all. Well, I bet you can't get this anymore. No, I bet you can't. I love the Fleur de Lis. For those of y'all who don't know, I love the Fleur de Lis. You'll, you'll usually see my little Fleur de Lis in my background shot. I use it as a marker so I can stay in frame. That's kind of why I use that. But I do love the Fleur de Lis and I collect them. In fact, here's my latest one. Let me show y'all. I found this at a thrift store. It's supposed to be a doorstop, but I just use it. Uh, well, a doorstop or a book. book. Um, oh, here we go. There, I just lost the word, but you know what I'm talking about. Book. Um, hmm. Y'all scream it louder because I can't hear you, but you know what I'm talking about. So, anyway, I found that recently. But, yes, I do love the Fleur de Lis, and this is beautiful. And this is the perfect size for a page. Carol, thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Let me see what this is. 1971 Time. It's from a Time magazine. Cornbreads. Cornbreads are le legion throughout the South and run a gamut from simple mush-like mixtures to delicate spoon breads. That's the truth. Gumbo born and gumbo bread. Listen to this. Gumbo born and gumbo bread. Tabasco follies fuzz my head. South is my blood and south my bone. So happily formed on pork and pone. In can... African move in me. You say, South, where can it be? Chewing my sugar cane, I repeat, why in all we like to cook and eat. That's pretty cool, Carol. That's pretty cool. Thank you. This is, this, this is, oh yeah. Look at this. And I wish y'all could feel the uh, weight of these mag, what used to come as magazine paper you know, magazine page paper. It's very, it's very thick. It's very different, the feel of it. I'm going to have to research to see how they did that. These, this is Carol. Oh my gosh, y'all. Carol, this is, oh my gosh, look at this. This is a crab boil. Hey, look. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm going to flip through these, y'all. Chicken cooking contest. Because it's a festival. Oh, wow. Look at this. Is this in Abbeville? No. They have a festival in Abbeville where they have this, this big kind of pot. Abbeville is close to me in Louisiana. That's why it caught my eye, that big pan like that. Southern fried chicken and onion gravy. Mm, 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 mm. That looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had me at gravy. <laughs> Let me see this stuff. This is beautiful. Oh, wow, look at her. Pounded. Okay. Oh, my goodness. 
y'all carol these images i know i'm going through them quickly but i am going to sit down with them these are historic this is from jefferson's this is monticello i saw it yep thomas jefferson's home oh my gosh look how beautiful that is i promise i'm going to go through them more whenever i'm off camera i just golly that's gorgeous scripture cake sorghum syrup yep golly carol you thought of everything that's it this is blueberries god i wish my blueberry bushes look like that they don't <laughs> they do not <laughs> i'm trying though i'm trying this is an oyster roast on the May River in Georgia. Oh, no, baked Georgia ham, red rice, and avocado and grapefruit salad. Avocado and grapefruit. Okay, I've never tried that. I wonder how that is. I may have to try that. Look how beautiful this image is. I love that image. Love this one, too. This is fantastic. Black-eyed peas, love them. From Selma, Alabama. Okay. Hush puppies. Sweet potato pie. Look, and I'm getting them, out, kind of getting them out of order, but I'll just reverse them back. Shrimp boats, man. When I tell you, I'm so thankful to live in the Gulf South. I'm telling you, you go to the dock on Saturday mornings when it's shrimp season, and you just walk right up and you get them, they catch them that morning, you bring them home that morning. Get them right off the boat. Come home, boil some shrimp. Oh, there's nothing better. And I love. Let me tell you something. I like crawfish, but shrimp are my favorite. And I don't. I don't want the little bitty, but what I call bait shrimp. I want the big shrimp. And I love shrimp. And then what I do is I take some real butter and put some lemon juice and melt that down. And that's my dipping sauce. So that's how I. <laughs> Y'all wonder why I'm a big old fatty to tatty. That's why. Because I love half and half and I love real butter. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> Sweet tea on the porch. I love that. We, uh, Tammy. Tammy at Sweet Tea. Uh, Sweet Tech. Texas Sweet Tea Treasures. I might have to send that to you. Juleps, Tiggers, and Til Tillions of Colas? Jillions of Jill Juleps, Jiggers, and Jillions of Colas. Okay, that's what it is. Mint Julep. Oh, the Derby. Look at that. 1875 is when they started. So this must have been right at the 70s. The 70s win winner was Dust Commander. Dust Commander. This is awesome. Carol, you really, you really outdid yourself. I, I really don't deserve this. I really, I really don't. And as far as this right here, I saw it earlier. I knew exactly what it was. And I'm going to go back to the fact that Carol is obviously meticulous in everything that she does, including listen. I had, I had briefly, I mean, just like, as an afterthought mentioned something about braille paper in one of my videos and look what carol sent me look what she sent me that's incredible carol carol i can't thank you enough my friend and I, again i want to um for anybody who's watching this video if you need a pick me up, if you need a soothing voice to listen to in the background while you do some work, or if you want to go watch some wonderful videos, Carol does memory keeping like no one I've really ever seen. She is, she's a true historian. She tells you all the little details about different things, whether it's the animals on her farm, the birds who may be laying eggs. There was one video where she talked about this fungus that was growing and she went and researched that. You can tell that Carol is truly meticulous in what she does. And she seems to be a perpetual learner. And that's what drew me to her because I am 
I, I'm just constantly learning things. I tell people this all the time. Had I had Google whenever I was growing up instead of the Encyclopedia Britannica, which I love, by the way, but had I had Google, I would be a physicist at this point because I was constantly curious and I was constantly in those 27 volumes of Encyclopedia looking at stuff. But Carol seems to be, um, she's just a gracious sweet spirit who is so obviously generous not only in sharing her things but I'm telling you her channel exudes this she is so willing to to help and to nurture especially new beginners so if you are new to this like I am I'm fairly new to this please go watch her channel uh, Pam Vanny Carol uh, at a crinkled path and Angela the crafter they have um, they they hosted a hashtag uh, Christmas in July swap 2023 it's too late to join that now but be on the lookout for other things that they do because these ladies are, are really very incredible and I'm very glad to have been connected to them I want to go back and I want to thank Carol again Carol this is um you can't you can't even imagine what you did for me today my friend and um the fact that you put so much thought into this this all the new orleans things the dinosaur things my friend you um you have you have made my heart sing today so thank you very much guys i'm gonna leave you with that today and just know that um i hope that whatever it is you you got to do today or you get to do this week at least part of it at least part of it is as much fun as i had in opening this package today we're gonna chat real soon guys thank you bye